Welcome, this is the AP Physics Workbook Solutions. Here we're going to cover uh, one point D, which is velocity is a vector. Here's the scenario, and um, Angelica and Blake are running towards each other from 15 meters away. At t equals to zero, Angelica runs to the right at 5 meters per second, and Blake runs to the left at 3 meters per second, right? So that's what the distinction is. I'm showing you the 15 meter distance. Okay. At t0, where is Angelica's position? She is at 0. Blake's position is at 15. Okay. Now, at first second, where is Angelica's position? Well, it should be 5 because she's running at 5 minutes per second. So 0 plus 5 is 5. Where's Blake's position? Well, position, uh, Blake is running to the left at 3, so he's subtracting 3. So his position is going to be at 2, because again, he's getting closer to Angelica's. At 2 seconds, Angela goes up to 10, because she has a constant rate of change. So she's growing at 5 meters per second, so she goes up to 10. Blake is subtracting 3, because he's running 3 to the left. So Blake is at 9. Three seconds, right? So forth and so forth. Now, if we graph this, this uh, Blake Angelica should look like that because again, she's growing at five meters per second each time. And this is Blake's positioning. He is decreasing because he's running to the left. Okay. Good. Okay. So this is just going from the chart to graphing it, just making sure that you understand how to graph it. Next, here you're, they're asking to calculate the slope of the line for A, which is Angelica. So again, you could grab any points that you want for Angelica. I am going to be using the points. Um, point one for Angelica was going to be, let's say, zero, zero, right? Point one and point two. Her second point was uh, 1, 5. So plug it in. 5 minus 0 and 1 minus 0. Okay? 5 minus 0 just becomes 5. 1 minus 0 is 1. So this just becomes 5. What's the unit? Meters over seconds. Same thing here for Blake. Let's do uh, Blake. So Blake's point 1. Let's say Blake started, I think, at 15, 0. No, no. 0, 0.15, yeah, 0, 0.15, and point 0.2, at 1 second, he was at, what, uh, 12, yep, all right, so let's do this, 12 minus 15, and the bottom is 1 minus 0, 12 minus 15, it is negative 3, 1 minus 0 is 1, so here, his speed is this. So again, here you should understand that the slope here gives you what? This is the velocity. So the slope of distance versus time gives you the velocity. Same thing for the bottom, All right? So here, they want for you to graph this. We know from our calculation uh, that Angelica was at, what, 5 meters per second. There you go. And Blake was at negative 3 meters per second, and it was constant. All right. There you go. Here's the argumentation. Carlos makes the following claim about the intersection between the two points on the position versus time graph in part A. The point on the position versus time graph where the two line crosses represents the time where Angelica and Blake are at the same position and travels at the same velocity. The student's claim is particularly correct. Fill in the blank of the following statement using evidence from the graph to cor correct the student's claim. I agree that the Position is the same because Angelica and Black do have the same position at 9.5 meters, and that is at 19.7 seconds. However, I do not agree that the velocity 
because the slope of the line is 5 and the slope for the other line is negative 3. What does that mean? Okay, let's go back here and take a look at this. This is what they are referring to at, at this dot, this intersection. Do you see that? That dot is at the, this is called the intersection, right? If you want to think about your solution. That is your intersection of the two, what? Look at the y value, the two positionings. So the two positioning is at time 1.9 seconds. And the location is at roughly 9.5 meters. That's what they're trying to say. Okay. But their velocities are different. Okay. The velocities are different. Okay. Why are they different? Because Angelica has a positive acceleration of 5 meters per second. That's why she's going up. And Blake has a uh, velocity going downwards at negative 3 meters per second. Okay, that was the whole part E part. Okay, that's just giving you an explanation using the visualization. All right, so there you go.